In this video, I'll show you an amazing automation that will help you get more leads. It will automate personalized prospect videos at scale and then email them to your clients automatically. I'll show you exactly how to build it in this video and doing it takes way less effort than you might expect. It's difficult to get leads via cold outreach and this automation could give you a superpower that could make it a lot more successful. All we need to do is to fill out the website URL and the email addresses, which you can collect manually or through other tools. And then a really simple automation will go and get those records from Airtable, go and grab a screenshot from the prospect's website, and then render the template that you see here. And we're interacting directly with a service called Creatomate, which is a really powerful video creation service that you can interact with via API. It will also alternate between different subject lines and intro text that you have. So you could create a big bunch of these and it would pick these at random, which means that you're not sending the exact same message to every single prospect. I'm just using this to demonstrate so the email addresses are not the actual ones for the website owners. You can then include a link to a service such as Calendly where the prospect will be able to book a slot directly in your calendar. I'll be showing you exactly how to build out this whole automation step by step. But if you want to import the automation at the click of a button, then check out the link in the description to our community where you can get access to all of our automations. The community is run by my brother Daniel and I. You can get your questions answered by us and by other community members via our well-structured online community. And we also have weekly calls where you can ask us questions in real time. Check out the link in the description if you want access. So let's start from the start. I have an Airtable base set up here. If you don't have an account, you can use the free version of Airtable for this. I simply have a website URL field, first name, email. We have a status column, which is pretty basic. It just has open, ready to generate, video generated, ready to email and prospect emailed as options. Then we have a subject, which is a single line of text, intro text. So this is a text that's gonna be at the start of the email as a long text column and then generated video, and video snapshot are both URL fields because these will be URL fields from Creatomate. When you have that set up, then go and create a new scenario in make.com. I have a search records module set up here for Airtable. I select my base and the table. If you do not have a connection already set up, then press add and then you have to go through an authentication process to set up your connection. I've selected my base from the drop down list. I've selected table one. You can leave all of these blank. And so if you leave them blank, then it will retrieve all the fields. And I have the status of ready to generate. And so we have curly bracket status equals ready to generate. And to start with, I'm gonna just leave this as limit of one. You can either run these on a scheduled basis or you can set up instant triggers so things can happen automatically via buttons or when you update statuses, it will trigger the make automation. I have a link in the description for how to set up those instant triggers, but for the moment, we'll work off this scheduled basis where we're running the automation and then it will happen from there. We have a record coming from Airtable. Next up, we need to get a screenshot. For this, we're going to use an API service called API Flash. It has a free plan at 100 screenshots for $0 a month. So we're gonna start with that. So all you need to do is create an account, and then log into your dashboard and then under get started, it will show you the exact parameters you need to use in make.com. So we then go back to make.com, type HTTP and select make a request. Then go back to API Flash and copy the first part, which is this URL to image and then paste that in as the URL. Then we want to add some extra parameters. Go to add parameter, go back, we'll select access key, which is that and copy in that access key and then select wait until page loaded, which we definitely want. We also want to add in a few other parts here. The first is response type. We definitely want this to respond in JSON format and then no cookie banners equals true. We don't want those to show up. And then finally under URL, we're gonna pass in the URL from the Airtable record. So we have website URL here. And then very importantly, select parse response down here and press okay. Now we can run that and see if that works. Okay, that worked. Let's have a look at that screenshot and it looks great. So this should work perfectly for our automation. Now go to Creatomate and select render a template. Now, if you do not have a Creatomate account, then you have to go and create an account. Creatomate is a very powerful video creation platform. They have a free trial. This is the current price of the essential plan. If you want to create video automations at scale without pulling your hair out, then this is a very good option. And if you're using it for something like lead generation, hopefully it should pay for itself. If you really do not want to pay for this, and if you're very, very technical, then you could use a tool called FFmpeg, run your own server and API endpoint, and then interact with that from here. But that is far more technical and FFmpeg itself 
is really awkward to use. CreatoMate makes this process so much easier. So all you need to do is go to CreatoMate, select new at the top, and I've gone all the way down to personalization. And there you go, it already has personalized cold outreach video as a template option. You click that, I've selected 16.9 landscape and then create the template. There is a potential to actually inject the name directly into the video. There's lots of options here. I'm going to delete that right now and then right click and then you can select replace media and then replace that with your own video. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, this background is a dynamic element. So we're going to pass in the screenshot directly into this. And then lastly, we're gonna drag in a video, select the video and then put that at the very bottom and then drag that out as long as the video is. Move this over and you're gonna right click and select replace media and then replace that with the screen share video that you create. There's two layers here. There's the face recording video and then there's the video of the screen sharing. You need to create two separate videos. I've used the free software OBS Studio for this, but you could use any screen sharing software you want. For this, I ran two windows of OBS at once and then press record very quickly one after the other. Hi, I just thought I'd record a quick video Firstly, to mention that I've spotted a few, and then this is a screen share video. And by the way, for the fictitious pitch that I included in this video, I used Canva and just went and found a template. I then customized that and then went to present, present full screen and then present. And then I press record in OBS and then talked over this. The nice thing about these Canva presentations is that they have some nice animations already built in, but you can use whatever approach you want. So I'm gonna select replace media, drop in myself there. And I've just done the exact same for the screen share. As you see here, then in the background, this background image will be the one that's replaced by the screenshot. On the template video, I'm gonna select the SEO outreach video, which is this template. And we'll see it's great here. It's automatically picked up the dynamic image that we need to inject. And so this is the screenshot API. I'll press okay and I'll press save. And lastly, before I even test any of this, I'm just gonna quickly add in an update a record module within Airtable. I'm gonna select the contacts table. I'll move this over a bit. So record ID, we go down to the bottom. And then the main things to update will be the status. The status for this will be video generated. So I'll type in video, video generated, make sure that the spelling is correct. For generated video, we'll select URL. And for video snapshot, we'll select snapshot URL. This will be the direct response from CreatoMate. And we will leave the subject blank for the moment. So I select save. We see the first one is set up as ready to generate. I'll select run once and we'll see what happens. The screenshot request was very quick. I think that was cached because we already called it previously. And this CreatoMate call will then render. And which is really useful is that it will actually respond back with the URL and thumbnail for the video directly within this call. So this will continue polling until we get a response. That's now processed. It took two or three minutes, but not really much of an issue when it's automated. You go back and we see that now we have the status as video generated and now the generated video. I'll play this out a little bit more to, so to show you what it looks like. Hi, I just thought I'd record a quick video. Firstly, to mention that I've spotted a few opportunities on your website after having a look through it that I really think could help grow your traffic. And secondly, just to explain who I am. I'm an SEO expert. I've been in the industry for about seven years and I have some really good recent client success stories as you can see on screen here. But it's not just about SEO to get you more sales as a whole. Moving on a little bit more. And a B test. If you want to book a free strategy call, then just respond to the link in the email and you can book a slot in my calendar. Chat to you soon. Okay, so that's the video. Finally, before we add in the integration to send the emails automatically, we need subject lines and intro text. You have two pretty basic options for this. Either you have the exact same subject line for every single one of them. In that case, you can manually add in the subject here, and then that will then populate this field, and that will be used when you're sending the email. And here's an example of intro text. So that's the most basic. I'll now show you how to randomize these a little bit, instead of having the exact same text for every prospect. But if you do not want to do the randomization part, then you can skip forward a little bit in this video. To do the randomization part, a pretty efficient way of doing it is to just simply create a new table with an Airtable and add two separate fields. The first is an intro line and the second is a subject line. I did not want to overcomplicate this scenario with iterators and aggregators and things like that. So what I've just done is I've separated out each of these different messages with a pipe symbol. This is the second version, that's the third, and that is the fourth. And then our automation is going to split those up and then pick one based on this pipe symbol. In the subject line, I've even included this dynamic element of name inside square brackets. 
Again, I'm using a pipe symbol to delimit between those. And we could have as many different variations as we want within this. So how do we do this? First off, we need to get the record within Airtable. So go to Airtable, select search records, select your base. We'll now select the intro lines table. Everything else can be blank and limit one and press OK. I'm going to right click and rename that to intro and subject lines. Now I'm just going to run that module. And now we have the subject line and intro line showing up for that. And I'll press save and see if this shows up here. It does not. I'll refresh the page. Hopefully it should show up now. Okay, it shows up now. We, we might need to do a little bit of testing when we're creating this. So I'm going to do this within a variable and I'm going to select set variable. Variable name will be called intro text. So first off we have text that's like this. Remember it's separated by a pipe. So what we're going to do is to select the intro line and we're going to select split or else go to the text and binary functions and find split and you see there. Then I'm going to go to, I'm going to select the intro line and I'm going to split by this pipe symbol which I've just typed on my keyboard. We'll press OK and we'll test that. Run this module only. I'll just copy and paste in the data from the field so we can just run the module directly without having to execute the entire scenario. Okay, let's check the arrays. Now it's correctly split each of these up, but I realize that they're all exactly the same. I really need to update my sample data. So I'm just gonna make some slight changes just to make sure this is actually working. I've looked at your site. Let's just leave it at that. Then we have three different variations. Put that in and save it. And now I will try and run that again. So right click, run this module only. Then I'll copy those in and press okay. Now we have intro text. Okay, that looks good. I've reviewed your site. I've checked, that should be checked. And I've looked at your site. That's just basic alterations just to test that this is working. So I'll just update that and press okay. Next up, we want to randomize this array and then just select the first one. There should be an option for shuffle. You can select shuffle. I'm just gonna type it in, shuffle and open your bracket and then close the bracket. And then I'm gonna select first, which is the first item in the array. I'm just gonna type first and close the bracket. Now it should select a random item from this list. Now I'll right click, run this module only. Again, I'm gonna copy and paste that in. Okay, I've run this once, it comes up, I've reviewed your site. Let's run it again, just to see what happens. I've looked at your site, perfect. Now we have randomization. That looks good. We're now going to clone that module and do the exact same thing for subject line. But we want to replace any occurrences of this name with the first name. So we're gonna use this replace function, which is here. I'm gonna type in replace, open the bracket, then semicolon, and then I'll type in name, semicolon again, and then I'm gonna replace that with the first name of the person, and then close the bracket. If you do not always have names, you can update this function to handle that, or you can just remove these dynamic name variables from this subject line. Okay, looks good. Alan, I've got some suggestions video inside, which is one of the options. Same response, I'll run it again. See what happens. Okay, Alan, I've recorded a video after reviewing your site, so that's a different result. Okay, that looks good. We have randomization now. We could use these variables directly. I'm gonna just copy and paste them out straight into this Airtable record just to save on operations. So the subject line is that. Oh, sorry, the intro line is that. And subject line, I'll copy. I'll just I'm just selecting Control A, Control C or Command A, con Command C if you're on Mac, and Control V. There we go, intro and subject. So once you've done that, and once you're happy that you've copied these out correctly, then you can delete these variables. Because the variables are only used for actually testing that logic. I'll press Auto Align to clean things up, and press Save. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Airtable, and I will test Ready to Generate. I'll go back here, press Run once, and then wait for the result. Again, yeah, it probably took about two and a half minutes. Now we see for the subject, it's picked a random one, and also injected the name, and the intro text, it's done the same. We look at the video snapshot, which looks good. And I'll turn the volume down for this. Again, we have the video with the correct screenshot for this prospect. Now we just do the last process, which is to email this to the client, which is a pretty easy part. I've created a new scenario. I'm gonna copy out this original Airtable record, which is to search records. I'm gonna select ready to email. Again, I'm only gonna select one to start with for testing here, but you could have this running on the schedule. Okay, for this, I'm gonna move this to ready to email and we'll see if our automation then picks that up. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to send this via Gmail. I've just added in a new Gmail module here and then selected my Gmail connection. If you have not done that, it's really easy to do. Just press add, select the Gmail account you want to use and then just go through the authentication steps. You do not need to use API keys 
or anything like that. You could also integrate this with any email marketing platform that supports HTML in the content of the message. We'll add a recipient. We'll select the email address. For subject, we're going to select subject. And then we need to add in content that will render correctly. And yeah, so let's write hi and then include the first name. You can do that if you want. I'm going to select, I've added a comma. I'm going to use break tag. I'm going to add another break tag, add an href. And this will be a link to the video, the video snapshot. Then for style, I'll write max width equals 600 px. From there, we should have the image of the video snapshot and then a link. And when they click on that image, it will then link them to the video. From there, you could add in a link to Calendly or TidyCal, for example, where the prospect would be able to book some time in your calendar. I'm going to give a, just throw in an example link here. So I will type ahref. I've no idea why I'm doing this manually, by the way. <laughs> I just started. So um, a, so I'll write book. So I'm typing in free, free to use this link to, and then book a strategy, a free strategy call will be the link. And in line break, looking further here for you. Alan, you can add your signature or whatever after that. Now I'll press OK. So again, you can use ChatGPT to generate all of this. I was just doing it manually and we press OK. So last updates with that. Make sure the HTML looks OK. Uh, yeah, I think that looks OK. And we'll press OK. After it sends this email, I definitely want to update the original Airtable record to update the status so it does not send multiple emails. I'll go back to my first scenario here and copy out this Airtable record at the very end. I'll press right click and paste. I'll add it to the scenario. So I'll change the record ID should be the ID. I'll delete the subject and intro text and that and that. The status should be prospect emailed. Prospect emailed. Okay, we'll now test run once and it looks like it worked. Okay, I can see the email went through Gmail. This could do with a bit of extra line breaks actually. I'll update that afterwards. Let's check the link. Oh, oh, I've linked to the image rather than the video by mistake. So let's go and update that. So image SRC, yeah, that's the video snapshot. The link should be to the generated video. I'm also going to add some extra line breaks here because things look a bit too close together. Okay, I'll press OK and I'll try that one more time. I'm going to go back and move that to ready to email. I will try to send that again. Okay, that looks better. I'll test it out. Click on the video, turn down the volume. Yeah, that is looking good. And I'll check the link to the calendar. Yeah, that looks good too. Perfect. So that's this entire system end to end. And finally, to tidy this up, it's probably good to add some error handling. I've added in an error option here under the status. I've added a new field for error. And then under here, then we can just add error handlers. We can add a break error handler there. If the Airtable API is down for a time, then this will automatically retry that scenario. When doing that, go to scenario settings and allow storing of incomplete executions as yes. So we'll do the same. We'll copy and paste that out to there as well. And I'll do the exact same for the other ones. What we could do instead of just break errors. If there are some issues with websites, you could also add an error handler here and add Airtable and update the record, select the correct base and then select the record ID. Status would then be error and then select error message and detail over there. Let's say there's an error with getting the screenshot. Instead of automatically retrying, it will update this record to error and then tell you what the error message was over there on the right hand side. So you can take this many different ways. You could just do this exactly as I've designed. The benefit of this approach is that when the videos have been generated, you can tweak the subjects and the intro lines to be extra personalized to the prospect. Otherwise, you could do this at larger scale by bulk selecting items, or you could just bulk update these, copy and paste, control V, and automatically move the statuses of many of these at once. Finally, if you're very confident of this process, you could move it all into one. So instead of updating the record, it will send the email right after it generates the video. You could get AI to generate these subjects and intro text. You can add in an open AI chat completion model into that and work from there. You could extend out the CreatorMate template a lot and add more dynamic elements to really, really make this automation a lot more advanced. If you want to see a much more advanced use of using CreatorMate in automations with more dynamic elements, then check out the link in the description where my brother Daniel goes through that on our channel. Check out the link in the description where you can get access to all of our automations, including this one. The community is run by my brother Daniel and I. It's very active. We have weekly workshops where you can ask questions to us in real time. And you can also post questions and discussions within the community and ask questions there as well. Thanks for watching.